There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Good morning, everyone. It's 9 a.m. right now, and today I want to make as many charms as I can in one day. So my plan for today is I am going to make the easier charms first. So easier designs include my cat design, my bear designs. I have made this design so so many times that I am I know that I will be able to make them very fast within 15 to 30 minutes. And then gradually I will move on to the more complex design. I also have a few new design that I want to make today. So I am keeping them for later because I know that they will be taking a lot of time. So without any further delay, let's get started and let's see how many charms I can complete in one day. I think the maximum I have made in one day is like 15 charms. So let's see if I can make more than 15 today. As always, I am going to start by cleaning my desk and I get this comment so so often how I keep my clay charms clean. So one of the first step is to keep your workspace clean because you will be essentially working in this area and we don't want any of those dust to get into our clay charms. So for the first charm of the day, I chose something pretty easy. I am making my cat charms. It's one of my most popular items plus I love making cats because they just look so cute. Plus because I have made this so so many times my brain kind of like goes into this autopilot mode while making them. So I am going to start my day with them and then I will eventually move on to the more challenging projects that I have in mind. First charm of the day is done. So I took a small break from sculpting to edit some of my videos because as an artist who mainly relies on social media, I have to be a content creator as well. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys might already know that filming and editing is something that I have always struggled with. And so I'm always trying to improve this skill of mine and I'm using one of my favorite platforms Skillshare for that. And if you are also someone who is trying to improve any of your skills or maybe even trying to learn a new skill altogether, then Skillshare will be the best platform for you guys. If you guys don't know about Skillshare, it's the largest online learning platform for creatives which has thousands of videos covering topics ranging from but not limited to photography, music, illustration, graphic designing, even clay art and so so much more. Skillshare also provides you with learning paths which basically are videos which are meant to be seen in a particular order. So you don't have to worry about choosing your classes because Skillshare will be doing that for you. The great thing about this learning paths are how beginner friendly they are. So even if you are completely new to a particular skill, it will provide you with the basic information first and from there will take you to the advanced level. The people who are conducting these classes have years of experience and expertise in these fields. And so the learning process becomes so so much easier and so so much more interesting. Right now I am watching this class called Social Media Storytelling and is hosted by one of my favorite creators from India. If you are an Indian kid born in 2000s then you guys might already know him. It's our beloved Rob. I grew up watching him and his shows and his videos and we have always seen him making things on screen but seeing him talking about what goes on behind the scenes and behind the camera was really really fascinating and I know for all the 2000s kids it will be very nostalgic as well because as I said we grew up watching him so this year invest in yourself and your new hobby that you always wanted to try by learning on Skillshare Start learning today by clicking the link in my description and the first 500 people to join through my link will get one month subscription absolutely free. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video.
we are back to sculpting and if you guys have noticed i'm using this clear silicon mold to use as a base for making my clay jams and that's because it's very smooth and i know that the clay will not stick to it whenever you are making clay jams using cold porcelain clay you want to make sure that the surface that you are keeping your clay jams is a very smooth surface something like a silicon mold or a acrylic plate or even parchment paper works so just make sure that the surface that you are using is smooth enough otherwise it will stick and while you try to remove it it might ruin the shape and you might get disappointed okay so just make sure that the surface that you are using is smooth I am using the back side of the silicone mold because it's completely flat but previously I have used acrylic slab as well as parchment paper and they work fine as well. One hour since I started making them and I have made three charms till now. It has been one hour since I started sculpting and I was able to make three charms which is not bad but I definitely can make more in one hour. The thing is because I am recording while I'm sculpting it is taking way more time because I am like constantly adjusting the camera and checking the angles because for this video in particular I wanted to take really close up shots because I wanted you all to see the details plus I also wanted to give you an idea of what I as a clay artist see while I'm sculpting them so I just really hope that you guys are enjoying these close up shots. Hello, it's 2.30 p.m. right now and I just finished making this two desk friends. These took me a lot of time to make uh, mainly because these are so big than my normal charms. Like this is the normal duck charm that I make and you can see how much bigger this one is. So with bigger pieces like this, it's very important that you smooth out the surface very well because otherwise it will form cracks. So I took a lot of time just smoothing out all the cracks. It's 2.30 p.m. right now and the sun is starting to go down so I'm just going to pick up speed and complete as many charms as I can in this next 2-3 hours because I really don't like sculpting at night because I don't get the natural sunlight so I will just uh, pick up speed and complete as many as I can in this 2 hours. Usually if the clay is well made you won't experience much cracks but with this piece as you can see there are so many big cracks and that mainly happens when you mix in a lot of pigments. So with this piece I added a lot of black color and as expected there are a lot of cracks but you don't have to worry you can just easily smooth them out with water. Just dip a earbud in water and go over the crack until it's completely gone and it should be good. Repeat this step not only with the bigger cracks but also the fine cracks as well because even though they might look small and might not even be visible, they will become wider as they dry and that's why I recommend just smoothing out the entire surface. Okay, but look how big these babies are they are taking so much space so as i'm making the stuff i'm also cutting down the things that i've already made um i don't know it feels very satisfying when i do it it kind of feels like a achievement i still have a few more things left to make so let's complete them it's 3 p.m right now and the sun is almost set and i'm just in my room creating these cute creatures for you guys 
and you know because i follow such a cutesy art style some people don't even understand what i'm trying to make one of them is my mom whenever i show a new clay charm to her she is like wow this is so cute but what is this and that's completely fine because not everybody has an eye for cute stuffs but as i always say in all of my videos i feel so grateful that i get to spend my days and evenings and nights just making these cute stuffs for you guys So it was a long long day and now it's 5.30 pm. The sun is almost set now and in total I was able to complete 21 charms. Yay! As I said in the beginning of the video, the most number of charms that I have made in one day is 15. So I'm really happy that today I was able to make 21. I think the desk friends, like the bigger desk friends that I made uh, took me a lot of time because they were so big it was very difficult to smooth out the entire surface so it took me a lot of time otherwise i would have definitely made more than 30 charms <laughs> and if i continue making the charms at night as well i know that i will be crossing 30 very easily but usually i don't really sculpt at night i just uh, do most of my resin work and editing and uh, replying to mails and dms and all of that stuff at night so i don't really sculpt a lot at night so <laughs> i know today will be no different that being said i'm really happy with the amount of charms i was able to make in one two three four five six in eight hours and lastly let me show you all the charms that i made today Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also don't forget to check out Skillshare. I will see you guys again very very soon. Till then take care.